I promise one more example question of how to calculate the area of a triangle. Uh, make sure you've seen my previous videos eh, before you have a look at this one. Um, I've said, well, the formula yeah, of the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Yeah? Or perhaps your book says, which is the same, that the area of a triangle is half times the base times the height. And why is that? Yeah, because that is most important, yeah, that you, yeah, most importantly that you realize that, that a triangle is actually half a rectangle. And I've shown you that in a previous video, yeah, where I actually cut up a triangle, and I showed you that is a rectangle. Base times height divided by two, comma, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. That is crucial, because in this particular example question, they're giving me so many numbers, 12, 10, 11, 10. But the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. Now, where do I see that angle of 90 degrees? I see it here. So what is the area of this triangle? That is base times height, 10 times 10, divided by two, because it's not a rectangle, it's a triangle. That's why we divide it by two. 100 divided by two, so that is 50. Base times height, because perhaps if I rotate it a little bit, yeah, maybe now you see it, it is the base 10 times the height, which also happens to be 10, okay? So base times height divided by two, where the base and the height make the angle of 90 degrees. So this 12 and that 11, I'm not interested in, yeah, because I don't need it to calculate the area anyway. Okay, there are no units, yeah, let's say, I did give units, they were all millimeters, 10 millimeters, huh? one centimeters, 11 millimeters, 1.1, anyway, 50 millimeters squared would be the unit that, huh? millimeter squared. So the area of a triangle, base times height, divided by two, huh? where the base and the height make the angle of 90 degrees. So I couldn't care less in this particular case about the length of those two sides. I wish you a very nice day.